so welcome back guys uh welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be looking at functions in php now we've looked at uh the basics of php so i think it's time for us to move to more advanced stuff in php and in this video we'll be looking at functions now php has over a thousand functions which are inbuilt which we've looked at some at the course of these videos we've looked at the echo we've looked at the print we've looked at the define and everything else so uh in this video we're going to learn how to create our own custom functions but before then we need to know what a function is now a user defined functions are block of code that can be used repeatedly in your program so basically if you write a block of code and you feel like okay i can still need this same this particular same block of code somewhere in my program again so why don't you just put it in a function and just run that code anytime you need it so this will reduce your work time and also increase effectiveness and it's going to make you look more professional whenever your code is being previewed now another thing uh, about a function is functions don't get uh, they don't get called automatically when you load a pro when you load your page what i mean by this is a function will only we only be called to action whenever uh, you make a reference to that function now all this might seem uh, a little bit, bit a little bit difficult for you but when we start writing our code now you're going to see that it's actually very easy to do so let's just go ahead and create our own custom function so to actually create a custom function uh it's actually simple you just have to uh, start your key, your line of code with the function keyword now what i mean by this is let's just open our php tag now to write a function you just have to do something like this and give this if your function name so this will be my function mind you when you're giving your function a name it's always good to give it uh, in the camel uh, naming technique so let's just right here let's just echo something out and let's just echo okay now this is a function and the name of the function is my function now this might be a little bit convincing because of the function and my function uh, just have it at the back of your mind is this is just naming now function uh, is the keyword uh, that you use to start uh, your function whenever you want to write a function and my function here is the name of the function that we can reference to when whenever I want to call this function now let's just go ahead and call this function and we just say And this is all we need to do now we've got successfully created our own default function let's just go ahead now we successfully create our own inbuilt now we successfully create our own function let's just go ahead and test this out so if i should go over to the browser and refresh you can see we get that okay now let's move to a more complex part of this function now right here uh, I want to bring out a parameter now functions can accept parameters what I mean by parameters uh, they are like arguments they are actually arguments that you pass into your function uh, to uh, like they are they are additional informations that you give into your function to actually work with I want to have an argument which I'm going to call this uh, name so right here i want to actually give the name so right here i'm just going to give the name which is going to be shola so right here i'm just going to echo the name out so hopefully this makes sense to you if i should refresh you can see we get that name right here now i said something earlier at the beginning of this video i said functions are blocks of code that are reusable throughout your whole application so just imagine if we have something like this again and we give this another name which is Paul. 
Now, if we should go ahead and refresh, you can see we get that Shola and Paul. Now, you can see uh, we don't, because we're using a function, we don't need to write this particular block of line, which is echo. For now, it might seem like a little thing, little thing to do, because uh, you can easily write echo multiple times in your code. But for now, just imagine you have like uh, 20 lines of code within your function. You don't want to write this uh, multiple times, so that's why it's always good to use function. Now, if I should just do something very simple, and uh, right here, I just say break. I just say break. This actually break. So let's just do something like this. So this we just give it a new line. You can see uh, we don't need to do this twice. We can just do it once because we're using the function. So if I go here and do multiple lane names i can say this is i can say this one is jake uh why this one is alex uh this one is dell and this one is uh let's just look for a random name let's just say moses and if we should refresh now you can see we have those list of names so that's just what a function does that's how a function works now let's just go ahead and create more of this and let's just see how it works so we're going to create a simple function that add two numbers together so what we're just going to do is let's just call this number one and call this number two now in this function I'm just going to say echo number one plus dollar sign number two. Hopefully this makes sense to you. And in my function, I'm just going to give it random numbers. So if we should refresh, you can see we get nine, which is actually the uh, expected result. So if we should go ahead and give this random uh, values. So I'm just trying to give it random values right now. So if we should refresh, we get that numbers, but uh, it doesn't look uh, readable. So let's just do a simple break. And this will be a string. So if we should refresh, uh, yeah. So you can see those uh, numbers right here, it has actually add the numbers. So we can do a lot more than this uh, in our function, but in, in uh, future videos, we're going to be looking at function when we start learning about object programming in PHP. But for now, let's just see, uh, this is how we create our own user-defined functions in PHP. So the last thing I just want to show you is, instead of using echo right here you can just return a value right here so whenever you call this function this will actually return the result to you so hopefully this makes sense to you and if we should refresh you're not going to see anything right here because you are you're not actually printing out that uh, result you're actually returning it back to this function now it is when you echo out this function are you going to see the result so let's just refresh and you can see we have that result right here so hopefully this makes sense to you let's just do the same thing to all uh, the functions so this will be echo and if we should refresh you can see those results so it's always good to actually return a value within your function and if you want to uh, print it out or display it for the user just go ahead and echo those functions i'll see you next video guys on how we're going to be using cookies and sections in php